Welcome to Religious Bullshit with Dusty Smith, the show where we take a look at the five craziest religious stories of the week and then get super depressed and form gangs with our friends so that we can search the universe for the Infinity Stones and snap humanity into extinction. As always, we have a horrible show for you today, so let's fucking do it. And folks, I know I ain't done this in a while, so let's just start this shit right off with a fucking amazing story. Here's something you don't see every fucking day. This preacher just resurrected this dude from the dead. Holy fucking shit. He really did it. I really got to hand it to these South African preachers. They're stepping the fuck up. You hear American preachers talk about this kind of shit all the time, how they witnessed resurrections. But of course, they never provide any proof or evidence of it. And this guy has video. And trust me, dudes, this is the realest shit you ever seen in your life. And you know this shit's got to be real, folks. Because right here on his official Facebook page, Pastor Alf Lukau says, Resurrection of a dead man, second service. My name is Lukau. I live on the second floor. I resurrect dead bodies. Bet you ain't seen that shit before. So anyway, this obvious man of God with his gold microphone can clearly do miracles and shit. So we start off with a bunch of miracles he's doing. He's healing people from wheelchairs and shit. Crap of folks is walking. Throw that wheelchair away. It ain't no fucking good anymore. God done cured you, fella. And the next thing you know, a hearse pulls up. And oh, hell, folks. Shit's about to get real. And you know it's about to get real. Because it says right here on the hearse, real funeral services. It couldn't say real funeral services if it wasn't a real funeral service, folks. This is 100% legit in every way. Then the preacher walks up to it. With his shitty old video quality and his gold microphone, he looks in, he's like, yep, this motherfucker dead as hell. And the audience is like, woo, dead motherfuckers, hell yeah, Jesus. And then he's like, let's pull this dead motherfucker off this hearse. And everybody's like, yay, pull the dead motherfucker off the hearse, Jesus. So they do, they pull the dead motherfucker off the hearse. Then the next thing you know, he about ready to resurrect this clearly dead motherfucker. And as we look down on this clearly dead motherfucker, you can tell just how dead he is by how he is constantly breathing and moving. But don't let the fact that he is clearly alive interfere with your faith, folks. Just don't think about it. Lazarus. Hey! Talita Kumi. Talita Kumi. Tell me, who's speaking? This is the neighbor, I'm the brother. Man of God. You are the brother? Yeah, I'm the brother. And you? The landlord. And you I'm are the, the landlord. I'm the landlord for him. Yes. Yes. He got sick. He got sick and sick, and then he started coughing a lot on Friday. Then we took him to the hospital, and then the doctor said, "Cause he's got no papers, he can't. They can't Jesus. help him until we send him to the surgery doctor. That is where he died in my hand." <laughs> and uh, you, this is your brother. Yeah, this is my brother. And now his microphone ain't working because Jesus can resurrect a dead body, but he can't resurrect a broken microphone. There's just some shit Jesus can't do. Somebody. He died since Friday. He was in a mortuary. This is the brother. Man of is commanding life. Rise up! Come on! Come on! Hey! 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 Watching him! Hey! Jesus! Hey! My God, he did it! Hey! What is this? What is this? Never seen before! Never seen before! Church of God! Maya, who's the get a total? Look what's happening. Mande Rebosh. Mande Rebosh. I need to your mask. My Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. You alone are God. The coffin is empty. You alone are God. Jesus. The coffin is empty. Holy fucking shit! He just resurrected that dude from the dead! I totally believe now! Jesus, please forgive me! Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Actually, on second thought, this is sort of creepy. Do you want a zombie apocalypse? Because this is how you start a zombie apocalypse. Just resurrecting dead motherfuckers from the grave to walk around amongst us. Hell no! You know who does that shit? 
the devil. I'm starting to suspect this ain't got nothing to do with Jesus. This is some voodoo devil shit right here. Somebody need to double tap this motherfucker stat. But obviously, folks, this is just a ridiculous, lying, shameless con man. South Africa taking this Christian grift to a whole nother fucking level. This is yet another example of how horrible Western Christianity has influenced and infected South Africa. Amazing giant pieces of shit. The worst humans on the fucking planet. Taking advantage of, stealing, and conning the most vulnerable people in their society. Pure fucking evil. And of course, when you look into it, this guy who was resurrected was also in a previous sermon for this pastor. Apparently in a past sermon, he was in a wheelchair and he was miraculously healed from his lameness. The good news is most of South Africa saw right through it. This dude was relentlessly mocked. Multiple funeral homes are now suing him over fraud. They claim that he lied to them and used them unwittingly, and it damaged their reputations. They said the family and the church had approached Kingdom Blue for purposes of acquiring a coffin and used stickers of Black Phoenix to brand their private car to look credible when they tried to hire a hearse from Kings and Queens Services to transport the body to the rural areas. A joint statement from the companies on Monday said, the funeral parlors herein were used individually and separately through various forms of misrepresentations to suit a particular outcome which at the time was unknown to the funeral parlors. Then this lying asshole comments, wife went public and was crying about all this shit. She's like, oh my God, my kids are being mocked in school about this. The kids were crying, asking what we've done that led to this. Their father had to sit them down one by one and explain. Jesus was crucified for doing the best things. We are so suffering the same. You fucking assholes. If you don't want your kids to be mocked and ridiculed at school, maybe stop conning motherfuckers. You guys are fully to blame for what's happening to your children. You're the ones who did this to your children because you're horrible fucking scummy parents. And yes, obviously it's depressing as fuck that people are dumb enough to fall for cons like this. But the good news is, is that all through South Africa, people made all kinds of parodies making fun of this shit. And they're pretty fucking funny. Let's have a look at a few of them. Oh shit, this guy in a tire yard, he being resurrected, yo, and he gonna fix your tire cheap as shit. And oh shit, it's a whole classroom full of dead children. He gonna rise all these motherfuckers from the dead, don't do it. Zombie apocalypse, oh hell no. And these motherfuckers even resurrected mannequins from the dead, even though they weren't allowed to begin with. And I don't know about you guys, but I'm never going to the mall again. And they're even resurrecting zombies at the gym, who of course immediately start working out because zombies love to be yoked. And this dude resurrecting zombies at a bar. And this is the kind of zombie I'd be. Get drunk immediately when I'm resurrected. And they even got a clip of Kanye West resurrecting this motherfucker. I mean, he is Jesus after all. And while obviously this is fun to make fun of folks, it is still really sad because there are tons of people who still fall for this shit. This horrible, evil human being is conning and stealing money from the most vulnerable and gullible in his society. And they're leaving comments in the video like this. Non-believers, leave your dead gods. Come see the power of my true living God, wonder-working God at Alleluia Ministries International. Wow, those days when Jesus were in this earth, it's happening with you, Pastor Alpha Luca. I remember Papa said, you will receive shocking miracle this Sunday. This is the shocking miracle. Praise the Lord. I didn't know that my God planned this moment for me when I decided to be a part of the 40 days fast. Thank you, oh God, for your divine favor of my life. And it's just one after the other of gullible idiots believing this shit, believing this guy actually has supernatural powers to raise the dead. It's amazingly sad to see just how harmful the influence of Western Christianity has been on Africa. Hopefully, eventually, we can wake these people up and educate them enough so they're no longer taken in and fooled by obvious cons like this. Because this shit is just really fucking embarrassing. Come on, South Africa. Get your shit together, dudes. And next up, is this awful fucking story? Priest found guilty of raping dozens of children and a sled dog. What the fuck? Like if raping a bunch of children wasn't bad enough, dude, you really gotta rape a sled dog? Poor thing's already gotta spend most of his life outside pulling the goddamn sled in the snow. The last thing this dog needs is some fucking pedophile priest coming in and rubbing his butthole. This story actually happened like five years ago, but for some reason I never covered it yet. Apparently this happened in an Eskimo town in Canada called Igloo Lick. And I just gotta say, folks, calling an Eskimo town Igloo Lick is a little bit on the nose for me. Sounds to me like it was named by some old rich white dudes. Like they walked into town and saw the Eskimos and they're like, what are we gonna call this town? And the other guy was like, hmm, looks like they lick a bunch of igloos to me. 
Let's call it Igloo Lick. And the other guy was like, genius, write that shit down. Anyway, I don't mean to make light of the story because it's fucking awful. Says here, Belgian-born Eric Jagger, 67, was convicted of 31 counts of sexual offenses against children and one count of bestiality. Jagger was found guilty of raping dozens of Inuit children and a sled dog in the Canadian Arctic, where he worked alongside other local priests for decades. From 1978 to 1982, Jagger worked for the Catholic Church at Igloo Lick in what was then the Northwest Territories. Witness after witness told the court that Jagger had used his position with the church in Igloo Lick to coerce the local children into sexual activity, often threatening the children with hellfire or separation from their families if they told. You motherfucker! God damn it, this shit is so infuriating! It happens over and fucking over again! These fucking mental terrorists literally terrorize people's minds with the worst thing the human mind could possibly imagine. Eternal, never-ending torture. And they use that threat of terrorism to abuse them in every way humanly possible. Possible. And if you are part of the Catholic Church, fuck you! You are literally an accomplice to this shit! You are literally paying pedophiles to rape children! These are the kind of people you're supporting! And if you're too big of a piece of shit to stop supporting these people because you care about the children, then at least stop supporting them because you care about the dogs! And next up, we have this hilarious clip from televangelist shithead Perry Stone, who's in the middle of speaking tongues and worshiping Jesus, but also, he takes time out to check his text messages because they're not even trying to hide anymore, folks, the fact that even they know it's bullshit. The blood of the Lamb, by the blood of the Lamb, God. I pray, I pray, I pray, I pray. Healing, healing, healing. I pray, I pray, I pray. Deliverance, 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 deliverance. Uh, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Send yes, Lord. Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord, have your way, have your way, have your way, have your way. Uh, Gotta check my Twitter, Lord. Gotta see if I got any more texts, Lord. Good Lord, Christians. Seriously, Christians. If you're giving this dude money, like, oh my God, what in the fuck is going on in your brain? How is this a real thing? And I love it while he's sitting there. They're like busting his fucking table while he's sitting there. What the hell is going on, folks? The dude's literally just moaning into the microphone as he checks his goddamn text messages. It keeps going. Man, I thought Christianity was weird before, but holy shit, dudes. Just when you thought Christianity couldn't get any stupid folks, somehow it finds a way. But the craziness ain't over yet, folks. Now we're going back to South Africa, and this South African preacher has a very unique way of ministering to his congregation. Let's have a look. So apparently, this guy just gonna slap the shit out of your children. Who in the hell would bring their kids to this motherfucker? I dare motherfucker slap my kid like that. Oh, hell no. And it ain't just kids either. He walking around slapping everybody. What the fuck is wrong with you people? Gonna let a grown ass man slap you and just sit there and fucking take it? All you people out there who keep trying to tell me religion is not a mental illness, explain this shit. This is the worst game of Duck Duck Goose I have ever seen. Duck, 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 goose! Tag, you're it. Tag, you're it. Tag, you're it again. Tag, you're it again. I don't want to be it anymore! Stop hitting me, motherfucker! Anyway, knock knock, who's there? You're all dumb as fuck! And last up, we're gonna finish with this one. This is a meme that has recently gone viral again in Christian circles, and it's full of quotes from a book by Joyce Meyer called The Battlefield of the Mind for Teens, which is a book that is meant to explain to teens the very best way to serve Jesus Christ. Let's take a look at some of these genius suggestions. Don't reason in the mind, just obey in the spirit. You know, because that exists. Satan will attempt to fill your child with worry, reasoning and fear depression discouraging negative thoughts horrible horrible fucking reason because everybody knows there's nothing worse than thinking about stuff satan frequently steals the will of god from us due to reasoning the lord may direct us to do certain things but if it does not make sense if it is not logical we may be tempted to disregard it what god leads a person to do does not always make logical sense don't reason just obey that makes sense there's definitely no way anybody could abuse this to mistreat others. Hey kids, don't worry that your preacher is trying to molest you. I mean, sure, it doesn't make logical sense. Why would your preacher need you to massage his nutsack? But don't reason, obey. Because if you little brats don't have enough faith, 
you're probably going to be tortured forever. And that's it for this week, folks. Thanks for joining me. Hope you enjoyed it. I know it's been a while since I've done these, but I plan on doing this every Wednesday from now on. Don't hold your breath, but that's the fucking plan. So for all of you who have requested I do this again, it's back, baby. I love you guys, and I'll see you next Wednesday. As always, logic. Fuck yes. Hey guys, Dustin Smith here, and this is Katana. She's our Otis Rescue at the Humanist Society of Mississippi Animal Sanctuary. If you like what we do, please consider supporting us. Most of the money I make goes to the Humanist Society of Mississippi Animal Sanctuary, where we rescue dogs and kittens that are about to be put down. We do really good work here. Even a dollar or two really helps. So if you can afford to help us, please do so. Thanks a lot, dudes.